Joe Hu from Dallas, the latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. In his first blog for Bumper, Dan Meisner looks closely at how podcast recommendations work in Spotify and makes the surprising discovery that while 14% of recommendations are to Spotify's own shows, Joe Rogan is never promoted to users. He's speaking at Podcast Movement later this week. We'll link to his study today in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. Blueberry is to offer transcripts and captions within its player and in the RSS feed for apps that support the podcast transcript tag of Podcasting 2.0. All Blueberry customers will receive a trial until September the 15th. A paid service is powered by Rev, though you can also upload your own transcripts from third parties. They're exhibiting a podcast movement if you've got questions. How many podcasts are still in production? A surprisingly small number, according to research from Amplify Media and Pod News. We link to that today from our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net and Amplify Media's Stephen Goldstein is at Podcast Movement this week. Pod Inbox has released chat rooms for podcasters, a proprietary system using simple text chat. They're available for all Pod Inbox users. Pat Chong from Pod Inbox is speaking later at Podcast Movement. In Singapore, Channel News Asia has announced a slate of new original podcasts. The Public Media Alliance cover the benefits and pitfalls with podcast collaboration. They've written up a session with CBC, ABC and RNZ at Radio Days Europe earlier this year. The host of True Crime Reporter, Robert Riggs, is to speak at Podcast Movement later this week about the process of taking your podcast onto television. And Podcast App Fountain has enhanced its search and published more details about how to earn sats on the service. It's a Monday, so time for some tech stuff. There's a new website for the podcast namespace linking to the official specifications and with more information. It's supported by Pod News, but a community effort. You can edit it too. You'll find it at podcastnamespace.org. Dave Jackson has made a video on how to set up your podcast for value for value with Albie. Adam Curry and Dave Jones are speaking at Podcast Movement this Wednesday. Blueberry's new captions, which you mentioned earlier, follow the podcast index standard, so they should display in a number of apps, including Podcast Addicts, Podverse and Podfriend. They join Buzzsprout in supporting the standard. Mike Dell reports that he has been appointed Podcasting 2.0 Project Manager at Blueberry. It's the first subject matter expert for the new podcast namespace that we're aware of in the industry. And Podverse is to introduce streaming sats soon. They already support boosts after a playback library used by the project has been upgraded. And in People News, Alexa Maruli has been promoted at Ad Large Media to Director of Sales and Partnerships. And in podcast news, Mumbai Crime has joined Radiotopia and releases a new season today based on the novel that inspired the film Slumdog Millionaire. The show was previously released as a radio drama for BBC Radio 4 in the UK. Tig and Cheryl True Story makes it to episode 100 today, a podcast where comedians Tig Nataro and Cheryl Hines discuss a zeitgeisty comedy with plenty of hilarious diversions and memorable stories along the way. The show is now on HeadGum. And Recapped at First Sight launches today, a companion podcast to the reality TV show Married at First Sight UK. Produced by Create, it's hosted by Kat Shub and former MAFS star Bob Voigt. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net.